हेलो एवरीवन होप यू आर लर्ड एंग वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस दी थर्ड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड कोड बाय वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट 92 इट्स अ मीडियम लेवल प्रॉब्लम एंड आई आल्सो फील द सेम द प्रॉब्लम नेम इज मिनिमम पेनल्टी फॉर अ शॉप सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सेज दैट यू आर गिवन द कस्टमर विजिट लॉग ऑफ अ शॉप रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय अ जीरो इंडेक्स स्ट्रिंग कस्टमर्स एंड दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओनली टू कैरेक्टर्स एन एंड वाई ओके नाउ व्हाट आर द कंडीशंस if the ith character is y it means that customers come at the ith hour okay and if the uh, if the if a particular character is n that indicates that no customer came at the ith hour okay so that's pretty simple and self explanatory now what are certain conditions of penalty okay so it says that if the shop closes at the jth hour okay and obviously j can lie between 0 to n okay uh, covering the boundaries so if the shop closes at the jth hour the penalty is calculated as follows what are the penalty rules so the rules are for every hour when the shop is open and no customers come the penalty increases by one okay and second condition is for every hour when the shop is closed and customers come the penalty increases by one in short forget about the complexity it says that if your shop is open and uh, if there there are no customers so the number of times there are no customer your penalty will increase okay and for every hour when your shop is closed and the customer comes so that means the customer is disappointed because your shop was closed and the customer came so in that case also you will have a penalty of 1 okay so return the earliest hour at which the shop must be closed to incur a minimum penalty note that if a shop closes at the jth hour it means the shop is closed at the jth hour okay just a boundary condition what are certain examples the so first example is y y n n okay so in this case the minimum penalty is 2 let's see how so suppose we uh, close the shop at 0 th hour so what will happen the penalty will be so it is y y n and y okay you close it here so what will be the penalty so since your shop is closed at this point so what it, what it says if for every for every hour when your shop is closed and customer comes so just see your, you have closed your shop here so now your shop is closed so the customer comes at this point at this point and at this point so three times the customer is disappointed so your penalty will be three in this case right what if you close your shop at this point now what will happen so at this point your shop was open however at this point the customer will be disappointed you have closed your shop at this point the the shop was closed and there was no customer no penalty at this point the shop was closed and one customer came so at this point also you have penalty so total two penalties in first case you had three in second case you had two what about the third case so it is y y n y so here it was open here it was open here it is closed right so no penalty till here here also customer was satisfied here also customer was satisfied here also what about this one you closed your shop at this point no problem but at this point a customer came so penalty of one and your shop was closed right what about the third r so y y n y if you close the shop at this point now what will happen so just see here customer was not disappointed here also not disappointed here what happened you have a penalty why because your shop is open at this point because you are closing at this point your shop is open at this point and no customer was there so this will incur a penalty of one right and here you are closing your shop so now what will happen the customer will return disappointed so here also penalty of one so total two penalty right what about the last case the last case is y y n y so you close your shop at this point so what happens no disappointment no disappointment one disappointment because your shop is open but no customer and here also shop is open there is a customer so just one penalty so one so the minimum of all these you can see amongst three two one two one is one so answer will be one in this case right um what about this one so in this case you have no customers at all just close the shop at the first point right at the zeroth point so you'll not be disappointed right and what about this one you at every time you have customers so you don't want to disappoint anyone so close your shop after you have uh, attended all the customers so that means at the fourth hour so actually whatever is the minimum penalty return the earliest index when you are closing the shop so in this case closing the shop at second hour and uh, fourth hour have a penalty of one so you return the earliest hour so in this case answer is two second hour in this case answer is zero 
zero a thar. In this case, answer is four four thar because at zero one two and three you cannot close your shop. At four thar you close your shop, right? I hope the uh, the explanation was clear. So I I would say nothing too much fancy is required in this solution. Just do what the problem is saying. It's an implementation based question. So just see what I have done. I have done. I have initialized my answer with a max value, obviously, right? I calculate what is the total number of customers that I have in in my string. Okay, so total open, total yes, I should have written uh, the but again, okay, total open, right? So total open equals to if the current character is y, just increment. So this variable will have the total number of uh, customers that will be visiting me, right? Now what I have done. I see at every point how many uh, customers have visited me till now for every i. This is this variable is for, is for that, and this variable keeps a track of that at uh, at uh, for how many hours was uh, there were there were there were no customers. So this keeps a track of for how uh, how many indices I had a customer. This keeps a track of for how many indices I did not had a customer. Right? Obviously, you can calculate it by subtracting subtracting it with the correct index. But yeah, just for simplicity and better readability. And this is my answer. Okay. Now just see what I have done. I start reversing my string and I current the uh, calculate the current penalty. Now, what is my current penalty? Current penalty is so I am closing my shop. Suppose these this is my string. I am closing my shop at this point. Okay. Now, what I have done is what will be my penalty? The penalty will be in this substring. How many y I have? Because this these many y's mean that I am closing my shop here and these customers will return unattended. So wherever I have a y, the customers will be disappointed. So this is my penalty. So this is total open minus current open, plus an extra thing. What is that extra thing? So till this point, my shop was open, but if in any case I had an n, that means my shop was open, but I did not had a customer. So that was also a penalty. So that is what that's what I have added, right? So if the current penalty is less than answer, then what I do? I update my penalty and I update my r. Simple stuff. Now what I do? I update the current open and current closed. So if the current current character is y, increment your current open, meaning that okay, at this particular point of time, I had a customer, and current close is basically at this particular point of time, I did not had a customer. This I am doing it for the next iteration. Okay. Now finally, when you come out of the loop, there are chances. Obviously, not there are chances, but uh, you obviously must have missed it for the last case. So that is what I have done here. Uh, current penalty. You just calculate the current penalty, and then what you will do? Because for the last index, when you will do it, right? Um, yeah, for the last index, when you do it, so you you have a chance now that if the length of your string is L, so you close the shop as L plus one. So this case is for that. Close your shop after you have attended all the customers. So current penalty again calculated. If current penalty is less than answer, then just update your penalty, and answer will be. That means R will be C dot length, and you return your R, right? So I would say relatively easier than the other third level problem that you get into the contest. Um, I I hope you got the intuition and you also learn something new from this video. So do support it by giving up thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel as well. It will help me uh, keep motivated. Also, in case of any queries, uh, please do mention that into the comments. I'll be more than happy to revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.